thank you very much, Rika, for kind introduction and ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, my topic, what I was asked to speak is about role of commercialization in innovation and uh, this is very close topic to my heart. As Rika said, I joined Nokia almost exactly 20 years ago to write software for the first Nokia's GSM phone. Uh, that was a smart card reader software and it went to about 500 million pockets. And uh, I, that's probably my most significant uh, achievement in the commercialization. Unfortunately, I didn't get a, even a cent for each one of those copies. It would have been a good licensing deal. Um, my, I would like to start to speak a little bit about trust, because trust is the base for all cooperation. And uh, trust, the opposite of trust is uh, mistrust. Mistrust is uh, caused by not enough information or it caused by fear. And uh, um, now, there are Europeans who are afraid of meeting Russia. And uh, I'm going to show you why it's a very good, it's reason to be afraid. It's related to ice hockey. <laughs> so Russia, Slovakia, 3-1. Belarus 3-1, Germany 3-2, now we are coming to innovation leaders of Europe, Denmark 6-1, Finland 5-0, Germany again 2-1. So actually I have to say that I'm, even if all the Russians in the room will hate me for saying this, I was happy that Czech Republic won one game, so otherwise if two partners are not better in any areas, then they cannot cooperate. So I believe we have room to cooperate. Um, in Spinverse, we have uh, three service areas, consulting, where we focus on a commercialization, uh, consulting, which I explain a little bit later, program coordination, we are coordinators for several national programs for TECES, TECES is our biggest client, and uh, then we work in the EU projects. Uh, we organize, in our contacts area, we organize large conferences like the largest nanotechnology conference in Europe and uh, we do partner search. Uh, sorry, my slides are behind. <laughs> right here. Um, we do partner search uh, for technology for customers for, and uh, in capital area we work with the public funding, advising how to get public money and uh, how to get venture capital and money from private sources. And this is built on a theory of uh, free capitals, that every organization, every nation uh, needs, or every person needs three kinds of capital. Knowledge capital, social capital, and financial capital. And not to make it too theoretical, I'm gonna uh, have a very practical examples what, what this means. But the, so, I want to quickly go through three topics. First of uh, definition of innovation and role of commercialization in it. Then why is it difficult? And then in the third part, which topic is how EU-Russia cooperation can make it easier. Uh, I'm not going to answer the question. I'm going to just ask the question and pose it to the panel so that uh, to save some time. Um, so innovation definition is important because there are very many definitions and if we want to cooperate in it, we need to have a joint definition. And I'm going to use an uh, enlighten this with a historical example, which is a light bulb. In 1600, William Silber uh, tested, found the electricity by getting, uh, looking at amber rods and um, cat skins. And I think those tests cannot be do, done anymore because of animal activists. But the, in 1600, the electricity was found as a discovery. 1879, the light bulb was invented. Please note. Ah. Here we go. 1879, uh, Thomas Edison uh, invented light bulb. Please note 279 years between discovery and invention. Uh, in 1890, 11 years later, a quite significant company was founded and uh, the commercialization happened. So here is the equation or definition of innovation. 
discovery plus invention plus commercialization creates innovation. Um, some anecdotes about uh, what are the differences. A discovery is not an invention, even if those two things are confused. Uh, US patent law defines invention as a useful process. And so how do you know that something is useful? And it's very, very, very difficult question. And why is it? Um, invention, even if it's usable, it's not always a business. Uh, you need to answer questions like, what problem does the invention solve? How big is the problem that it solves? How valuable is it? What are the competing solutions? Uh, is my invention the best or at least better? significantly better, because if, if it's just a little better, people don't worry, bother to accept it. And then is it scalable? Is there a viable route to market? How large is that market? Basically, how do we make money with it? And uh, then business potential need to go to actual sales. And uh, here the difference is, difficulty is that it's very rare to find a single person which can go to the whole process. A top scientist normally is not a great inventor or great businessman or vice versa. And it's not really fair to ask anybody to be that. It's a too wide expertise. And that's why cooperation is needed. And a scientist uh, can monitor the latest achievements in science, but it is already stretched to look at the latest achievements in technology. And, uh, on the same way, in the industry, it's difficult to be knowledgeable on the latest achievements in science. So, uh, very quick summary, just to show that I have done my homework and we have a real model behind this. So, I'm going to show you a very busy slide next. Um, there are, and I'm not going to walk this through, I'm going to jump very quickly to the simple um, learnings of it. There are five stages from basic research, applied research, commercialization, market entry, and mature markets in the definition. And they, you need three kinds of capital, knowledge capital, social capital, financial capital. So, like every model, it doesn't work like that. It's just not that simple. And why is that? Commercialization is a huge jump. It's often compared with the uh, leap from the cliff to another. And there is a deep hole in the middle. And if you drop there, you can never get out. Okay, in some entrepreneurs, they can come out and try it again, but it's a big loss if, if you fail. And uh, now let's look at first the knowledge capital of the people. On the left side, you have scientists, technical, technical people, engineering people. On the right side, you have people with strategy, marketing, sales, production, and finance. And these two are different. They, again, they don't normally, uh, even in some early cases, they don't even know each other. They don't trust each other. And this is the first leap that you need to do. Second leap is in the partnerships or social capital. Uh, in research, you need research, technology, partnership, subcontractors. In business, you need customers, you need distributors, you need production subcontractors, and so on. Again, two distinctly different networks. And when you start on the left side, you normally don't have any of that ready on the other side. And not to make it too easy, there is a third leap, which is in funding. On the left side, you are talking to public funding. On the right side, you are talking to private money. And public funding is looking for the benefit of a society as a return of, on investment. Private money is looking for more money as investment. Those are two different uh, ways, two different audiences where you talk. And again, here the trust is very important. For technology people, for example, talking to venture capital is difficult. There is no trust. Okay, I have to say that sometimes there is good reason for that. And uh, you remember, Comrade Lenin said that uh, trust is good, but control is better. And also, in many of these cases, it might be right. Um, so finally, make sure when you make the leap, uh, don't do it without support. And, uh, 
As said, uh, I'm not going to answer this question, but we are, I'm going to uh, give this next questions to the panel, which is um, um, how do we solve these challenges together? In knowledge capital, how can EU and Russia complement each other on knowledge, people and competencies? How can, uh, in social capital, how we can create complementary networks, uh, partnerships and markets? And in financial capital, how we can complement each other on funding? Thank you. <laughs>